Okay, so this is that carburetor off the uh, the Gravely out of my dad's. Um, it's it's off a of 16 horse Briggs and Stratton off the uh, Gravely 800 series. Not sure exactly what model the Gravely is. I'm still working on that, um, but it's like an 816 or something similar to that. <clears throat> so I found some. Uh, information on the internet and there's a good site called uh, gravelymanuals.com and they have a ton of manuals for all the gravelys the engines the gravelys themselves so pretty sure that's the carburetor and I also found Another site. Where did it go? On this site, it has what appears to be the same carburetor that they've remanufactured. So that's pretty interesting. Um, this website's called I Save Tractors. And the carburetor is seventy dollars, so that seems like a fair price. I'm assuming it's made in China. Um, not quite sure yet, but uh, yeah, it might be a good alternative if you can't get the original back in uh, working order. But uh, this one seems to be in pretty good shape. I'm not an expert, but. Uh, seems to have all its pieces I'm gonna open up the uh, float bowl and see what the float looks like you know, see if it's in good condition I don't think it's been used in working condition for a few years maybe five to ten years maybe longer I'm not sure how long my dad's He's had him sitting out there for quite a while. I'm not sure ex exactly the last time he had this this particular tractor working. So there's the air filter. Looks like it's a Briggs and Stratton air filter. Not sure if it's the original. Probably not. Hope not. But uh, maybe it is. Who knows? Um, that's the inside of the air filter chamber. You see there's some critters, some mud wasps or whatever you call them living in there. There's your little nest. And when I was out there, the uh, flywheel cover was missing. But when I went back and looked at the video, I think I saw it sitting on the pile of, uh, spare body panels he had out there so hopefully I can find that there's no markings on this carburetor um, that I can see to give you a model number but uh, luckily that appears to be the carburetor that's on the uh, gravelysmanuals.com and on that other website where they make them um, if you know where I can get a carb kit for them any suggestions on uh, aftermarket parts, carb kits, gaskets, stuff like that. I'm finding some online, but uh, if you have any preferences or ideas, that'd be great. I'm just starting to get into this, so the more information, the better. All right, let me put this on a stand. Let me put this camera on a stand and I'll dig into this thing.
Oh, those are coming off. Nice and easy. So I'm going to go back out there uh, Saturday morning and um, play around with them some more, get some more information on them, hopefully I can find some more model numbers and serial numbers and just get an assessment of the parts that are needed and I need to start checking the... Uh, I need to check the compression, the spark, and put some fuel in them, see if we can get them to crank over. All right, here we go. We're going to take off the, uh, see if we can pop this loose. Yeah, it's pretty tight. on there pretty good really good I need a uh, need a little hammer turn you back on when I get this loose okay so I think what's holding this together I might be wrong but I think it's that I think it's the um, valve assembly needle according to the uh, parts list number 118 down in there and it connects here so let me see if I can get this loose and see if that helps it pull apart I got a uh, 7 sixteenths there let me see if this loosens up Okay, well, there's the jet, one of them, needle. Um, hmm. That looks pretty clean. Oh, you know what? Yeah, there's another screw in there that has to come out. See if I can get in there. Okay. Okay. It looks pretty clean. It looks pretty good. So we will uh, leave that out for a minute. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this. Well, still pretty. The gaskets 
on there really good. So, all right, let me bang around on it a little bit. Well, there it is. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like it's been sitting for a while. It's completely dry. But it looks pretty clean overall. Gasket just broke a little bit when I was taking it off. That sucks. So gasket looks like it's in pretty good shape. But it needed to come off. Get it cleaned up. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know it's stuck on there to float the uh That main jet right there, our needle is holding the gasket on. Hmm. It looks like it's on there. Let me 
interesting. Let's see if I can get that pin out. 